Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7. In this series, we have been exploring solution to previous year's competitive exam papers. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Today, we are going to tackle a problem based on several advanced organic chemistry concepts such as LDA, Evon chiral auxiliary, ring closing metathesis, and reduction by lithium borohydride. Let's dive right in and solve this problem together. Let's start by looking at today's problem, which is from gate 2022. This question provides us this substrate initially react with the LDA and followed by react with this alkyl halide to produce the product B. This product B is then react with Grubbs to catalyst and followed by lithium borohydride to produce product Q. So here are the four options for P and Q. Let's figure out the correct one together. First, let's see what's the first reaction condition is LDA. So LDA is a non-nucleophilic, sterically hindered strong base that readily abstract the proton from acetic position. We have discussed the LDA before, but if you missed that, video, don't worry, you can find the link in the description box below. So LDA is particularly useful for generates a unilate ion by deprotonating the less heated side of a substrate. It can also abstract the proton from benzylic position and aromatic acetic protons also. Now let's come to the our substrate. So here you see this particularly this part, this part is called Evon chiral auxiliary. So Evon chiral auxiliary, which is a powerful tool in asymmetric synthesis, providing high diastereoselective formation in the various transformation. So here you see this isopropyl group is important, which act as a stereo controlling unit in this reaction. So now you see when you use LDA, it's readily abstract the proton from this side, since this side is having acetic proton, which readily produce this corresponding enolate ion. So here you see this negative charge of oxygen coordinate with lithium cation. At the same time, this carbonyl oxygen also coordinate with lithium cation, which makes that this structure is a rigid form. This is important for asymmetric induction event. So for our convenience, we can redraw this form like this. And another important point, when you use LDA, which preferably generate corresponding eject enolate ion for the steric region. So now you closely look this form. So this heterocyclic structure, as well as this alkene, both are present in the plane. So now you see this isopropyl group present at the top face. Therefore, the top face is sterically crowded when compared to the bottom face. Because of that, approach of this alkyl halide by top face is impossible. So this approach only takes place by bottom face, which readily undergo this alkylation reaction. So here you see this electron shifted here, then this electron attack this carbon followed by kick of Br- minus to produce this corresponding product. So now you see this alkyl part present at the bottom phase since this reaction takes place by bottom phase. So next moving on, our next reaction condition, we successfully found that the answer B. So the next reaction condition is Grubbs 2. Once you see the Grubbs 2, so most of them will get this reaction is based on a ring closing metathesis. Yes, you are correct. This reaction is based on ring closing metathesis. So ring closing metathesis is another critical step in our problem. So ring closing metathesis is a powerful method to form cyclic compound by closing a ring structure by the metathesis reaction. The Wolfin metathesis reaction means that the reaction takes place between two alkenes. The groups bonded to the carbon atoms 
of the double bond and the exchange between the molecule to produce the new molecule containing double bonds with a swapped group. That's called olefin metathesis. So if your compound having two alkene in the same molecule, it's called intramolecular olefin metathesis or ring closing metathesis. So far, we can see this shortly how this reaction works. So for that, you just take this example. Here you see this compound having two alkene. When you do ring closing metathesis, which quickly provide corresponding ring closing compound along with ethylene byproduct for ring closing metathesis. So we know that two type of catalysis are known, one for Grubbs first generation catalyst, another one for Grubbs second generation catalyst. The Grubbs first generation catalyst. So here you see ruthenium metal attached with two electron rich tricyclohexyl phosphine unit. So this electron rich tricyclophosphine is necessary for increased metathesis activity. When you come to this Grubbs second generation catalyst, so instead of one tricyclohexyl phosphine, here you see one NHC ligand is present. So this NHC ligand acts as a best sigma donor and poor pi acceptor. So this ligand is necessary for stabilize these 14 electron species when the course of catalytic cycle. So in, in these two Grubbs catalysis, Grubbs two catalyst is most reactive when compared to the Grubbs first generation catalyst. And instead of this Grubbs catalysis, we can use the molybdenum based catalyst also. But when you come to the price, molybdenum based catalyst is expensive. All these catalysis are called pre-catalyst. So pre-catalyst means that when you use this catalysis in the course of the reaction that generates the corresponding octave catalysis. So therefore, these all the catalysis are called pre-catalyst. So next to moving on the reaction mechanism for ring closing metathesis, since knowing the reaction mechanism is necessary for understand how this reaction works, now you consider this alkene, so which is going to react with our Grubbs catalyst. For our convenience, we can rename as L for rest of the all the ligands. So this part only going to react with our alkene. Here you should note the regiochemistry of this initial cycloaddition reaction. So this terminal position always attack this position. So here you see, then followed by this metal center attack with this inner position of alkene resulting that two plus two cycloaddition takes place to produce this four membered ring system, then followed by retro two plus two cycloaddition takes place to produce this new ruthenium carbene species and followed by the kickoff styrene byproduct. Now you see again, which undergo two plus two cycloaddition. So like this, that produce four membered ring system, then followed by retro two plus two cycloaddition reaction takes place to produce the cyclized product along with octave catalyst. Now you see this pre-catalyst after the course of the reaction that generate the new octave catalyst. So this new octave catalyst readily undergo the catalytic cycle. So here you see this new octave catalytic species which readily react with alkene by two plus two cycloaddition reaction. So which produce this intermediate then followed by retro two plus two cycloaddition that produce this metal carbene species then followed by two plus two cycloaddition that produce this four membered ring system which then undergo retro two plus two cycloaddition reaction that produce this cyclized product along with octave catalytic species. So in this reaction here also you should note that so this retro two plus two cycloaddition reaction that produce ethylene as a byproduct also. So next to moving on our substrate so when you use our substrate by Grubbs 2 catalyst that readily produce the cyclized product along with ethylene as a byproduct. So our the next reaction condition is the reaction of lithium borohydride. So lithium borohydride here act as a reducing agent. So here you see, so one of the hydride ion attack this carbonyl carbon then followed by this electron shifted towards the oxygen atom which produce this tetrahedral intermediate. So now you see this electron comes here then followed by kick off our even chiral auxiliary unit which readily produce this corresponding aldehyde intermediate. This aldehyde intermediate again react with lithium borohydride to produce this corresponding alcohol product. 
we successfully deduce that the answer B as well as answer Q, just you compare with our question paper. So based on that, here you see the option A and option B contains our answer B. In case of C and D, we can easily omit that, this answer. So next we should find out where is Q. So here you see Q has the dash bond in this position, but when you compare with answer A or answer B, this type of arrangement is not here. So for this, we can use RS nomenclature in order to deduce the correct answer for this question. To deduce the correct answer for this question, you just redraw our product structure. So this one just now we deduced from our problem. So here you see in this structure, so this bond present at the dashed bond, that means that one of the hydrogen atoms should be present at the top. So for priority, so here you see this one is a carbon attached with oxygen. So therefore, so this portion will get the number one priority and this one alkene as a number two and this carbon as number three and this hydrogen as a number four. Now you see, so this one goes as a clockwise direction. That means that R, but hydrogen pointing towards you. Therefore, we need to change the result. So that means that the correct configuration for this product is yes. So now you come to the option A. So this one is the option A. So same thing, you just give the numbering or priority. So this one will get the number one priority and alkene will get number two and this carbon will get number three and hydrogen will get number four. So here you see this one also going clockwise direction. So that means that R, but here you see the hydrogen pointing backwards that means that no need to change the configuration. So their correct configuration is R, but our product configuration is yes. That means that option A is a wrong answer. So next moving on option B. So here you see option B structure. So same thing, you just to give the priority. So this one will get the number one priority and this will get number two, this will get number three and hydrogen will get number four. So now you see this one also going clockwise, that is R, but hydrogen pointing towards you. Therefore, we need to change the R to yes. The configuration for the structure is yes. So this one perfectly aligned with our deduced answer. Based on our analysis, considering the role of LDA in deprotonation, the use of Yvonne chiral auxiliary for diastroselective alkylation, the application of ring closing metathesis and reduction by lithium borohydride and RS nomenclature trick, we can deduce that the correct option is B for this question. So there you have it by breaking down the problem step by step and we understand each reaction condition, we have identified the correct product. I hope this explanation helped you understand these advanced concepts in organic chemistry, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to ChemOrgum for more problem solving session and chemistry insight. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.